Hey folks, uh, welcome to uh, this issue's roundup of accessories. And we have three exciting and new little items that we're going to show you um, this month. And we're going to start off with, uh, with this. This is new to me. This is drum clips. And um, they come in two different sizes. And basically they're uh, uh, designed to eliminate and help suppress overtones and ring from, from the drum. Now, drum clips, as I say, they're new to me, but uh, definitely worth investigating. They're made of this, um, this is a larger one. You tuck that under the bottom of the counter hoop. This part here sits over the top of the counter hoop. And this part here presses down on the drum head. Now you've got no way of, of adding any extra tension as such, um, but the, the nice thing about these is, is that they sit kind of pretty firmly anyway, without sort of crushing the life out of the drum as well, I hasten to add. Um, and because they're this rather nice um, sort of durable rubber, I would hesitate, I would hazard a guess, I even should say, I would hazard a guess that their longevity will be extreme. Um, as far as I know, they're only available in black, but hey, you know, was good enough for, for, for Mr. Ford. Um, now the other nice thing about these is that you can affix to the back, this, this back pad. This is the pad that actually sits on top of the drum. Now you can either leave them, if you like, sort of naked, um, or you can affix, this is a felt pad that comes with the, the, the clip, and it also comes with another little rubber pad. Um, and basically the felt pad will give you a slightly sort of softer, warmer control, and the rubber pad will give you perhaps just a little more element of ring or overtone if you need that, if you don't want to suppress the drum too much. So you've got some nice options there. Um, you may find also that with the two sizes, that perhaps for say like a, a, a 10 inch tom, use the little one, um, probably 12 inch tom as well, or a small auxiliary snare drum, that would work a treat. Um, a regular snare drum, and then sort of 13 and upwards sort of toms, then you probably want to go with one of the bigger ones. Um, but as I say, they come singularly in a pack, and you get them, as I say, with this little felt pad, or with an, um, a rubber pad, so you can decide what extra sort of muting um, preferences suit the, the desired sound that you're after. So there we are, that's drum clips. Um, do check them out, I'm really quite impressed with these. Uh, and I like that, as I say, the durability, uh, the look of them and the ease of fitting. But actually, one of the other things I should explain, that for argument's sake, perhaps in the middle of your set, you've got one of those tunes, a kind of lighter in the air moments, and you want a kind of quite a deep baggy snare drum sound. Well, if you, you know, put this on your snare drum and it will immediately take that tone right down. So you haven't sort of quickly got to detune or anything. You just pop this little baby on, play your tune, you get a nice big fat sound. Maybe the next tune you, you, you're going to need all the ring that you've got on your snare drum back. Just take it off. It's great. And the other thing, of course, unlike some gels, it's not really going to start picking up dirt and, and, and rubbish and things like that. Um, my, perhaps my one gripe would be that, that everything is black, but as I say, that was good enough for Ford. But it might be nice, um, it, perhaps if there was a, I don't know, a luminous strip or something, because inevitably, so much black stuff on a dark stage, if you do suddenly drop it down or put it down, you've got to find it. Just something that would uh, help you locate it. But I was, I'm really kind of nitpicking at that point. So there we are, folks. Um, drum clips, and very, very impressed with them too. Okay guys, um, for our second accessories, we're gonna take a look at fusion bags. Uh, now, you've probably seen these already. Um, there's probably a high certainty that your, one of your guitar players, or all of them, bass player, etc., or even your keyboard player, has got a fusion bag. Um, they are renowned for their um, in, ingenuity, perhaps I should say. Um, this here is the snare drum bag, which, um, frankly, has more pockets and compartments in it than I've ever seen anywhere. Um, it's beautifully made, it's very robust. Uh, I would hazard a guess you could even probably put it in the, uh, in, in the bottom of a plane and it would get there nice and safe and your lovely snare drum will be protected. But I just want to run through a few of the, uh, the, the, the features, if you like, of, the, of this particular bag. Now, it's got a carry handle here, so if you want to carry it and walk along with it, you can do. If you need your hands free, then you've got backpack straps here. And if you don't want these, they just you just unzip this rear compartment and they fold and go inside there. They're out of the way. They're not sort of trailing along the floor as you run to catch your plane. Um, now, let me just set it down on the floor here. 
and open up some of the other compartments. Right, so inside here we've got our snare drum, our beloved snare drum. But of course, we're gonna need sticks. And there's your stick bag. How cool is that? Looks a bit like a bulletproof vest. If maybe the pub you play in or whatever gets a bit rough, then you could always shelter behind this, you never know. But obviously lots of room for, for sticks, brushes, keys, lots of Velcro and little compartments. Uh, you know, put your, put your uh, damping gel in one of these or whatever. Um, so many pockets. Uh, every time I look at these, I, I find more things about them. But anyway, so there's your sticks catered for, and it tucks nicely in, into the back of the, the bag, and it all zips up nicely. The second section down, I'll just lift this up a little bit. There's a whole raft of, of, of spaces, you know, put your wallet or your keys or your um, iPod in there or whatever, pens, paper, no problem whatsoever. And then there's even another front compartment and we haven't even got to the drum bit yet. So again, you know, another little pocket, any other little bits and pieces, spares, maybe a spare strap for your pedal, maybe another beater for the pedal, whatever. So there's an abundance of, of hiding places um, to put your things very, very securely. Right, oh, there's even a, another little pocket here on the side. Get some more stuff in there. The other thing is, let me just put it back down on the floor. Now, if you un undo the handle, it does reveal the, the snare drum case. Now, this is where it gets very impressive. Now, depending on the depth of your snare drum, if I just lay this on the floor like that, you'll find, uh, well, when you first get it anyway, you'll find there's a, sho a shoulder strap. That's difficult to say, shoulder strap. Um, so if you wanna just actually put it over your shoulder, keep both your hands free, you don't wanna wear it on your back because you've got something else on your back, then you can do that. Now, my friends, this is some deeply luxurious padding. Uh, there's probably at least a good inch of, of really heavy duty padding just in this top section alone. It also comes with two of these little um, extra uh, protective pads, if you like, so you can cushion them around the side, maybe around the snare throw or, or anywhere um, that's liable maybe to get a bit of a bashing. Um, and as I say, now, depending on the size of your, or the depth of your snare drum, people at Fusion have thought of everything. So here's our nice empty snare drum pouch. But you have a choice of, actually these would double as a cushion as well, wouldn't they? If, so maybe if you're, you've just taken like a 14 by four, then you probably want to use both of these. One on the bottom, one on the top. Put these either side as well, so you're offering lots of protection, no problem. If you have a very deep snare drum, say a 14 by six and a half or something, then maybe you might only want to use one of these. But the fact is, you've got the choice and the option. And this is really nice, dense foam that's, that's in here. I have to say, um, obviously Fusion have done a lot of research um, and I am massively impressed with, with this. This is the first Fusion bag that I'm aware of that I've ever opened. Um, and as I say, every time I look at it, I find another pocket or another zip or something that leads me elsewhere. Um, all folds up rather nicely. And there's even a little tag here that pulls out, put your name and address on it, things like that, in case you lose it, or the, oh, I should say, really in case the airline loses it. Um, so that's there, and it all, uh, all with the aid of a little bit of Velcro, suddenly you're ready to go. As I say, backpack, over the shoulder strap, or carry it by hand. So that's the, uh, the, the rather wonderful snare drum pack from Fusion. Let's take a look at a couple of other things that they're offering. Okay, now you might be uh, looking for something um, a little luxurious to cart your sticks around in, uh, along with everything else that you need when you travel, of course. Um, and this is the Beat Pro Bag. And again, it offers you back strap facility. There's another strap in, ni nicely tucked away in the back here. I'll just turn that around so you can see. So you've got backpack facility. Again, it's got an abundance of pockets and protection. Uh, let's take a look at the front. 
Now down here, there's another little compartment. Again, handy for keeping pens, old bits and pieces, your passport, whatever, your wallet. Um, this would obviously, you, you could take this on the plane with you, not a problem. Um, well, I hope so anyway, having said that. But inside, it is the most deluxe stick bag. This will really offer a lot of protection. Again, it features the same inner uh, freestanding, well, not freestanding, but free hanging stick bag that we saw in the, in the earlier bag. Again, all the pockets, no problem with, with all your bits and pieces. And then in here, there's, there's a few more compartments. Uh, and my guess is that you could use this if you're just taking your sticks and you're going off to do a session or you've got to go somewhere, you know, you'll get a few items of clothing in here. You'll get manuscript paper in here. You get all the charts that you need. Put your MP3 player, whatever, in here, your camera, your phone. So that's the Beat Pro. That's a really deluxe, if ever there was a deluxe stick bag, that would definitely warrant the title of King of. So this, I forgot to mention earlier, actually, this is all from the Beat series, which appropriately named for us. We are Beat Keepers or Beat Makers. Right, so that's the Beat Pro stick bag. Now I've got two more here. Maybe you don't need anything quite that big. Then you could go for something like this. This is just a single strap, pretty regular uh, stick bag that will hang over your floor, Tom. And again, you've got your straps, so you can hang it over the, the tension rods or over the, the floor tom, top of the floor tom legs. Nice big pockets that will accommodate a whole load of sticks, brushes, beaters. Keep a Sharpie or two in here for making notes or if there's a change to the set list. Pockets for keys, any spare bits and pieces that you need. Forgot to mention, there's actually a further two uh, little uh, compartments on the front here. Again, loads of room for stuff. More, even more little compartments inside. There's a little clip there for your keys, everything, keep it all handy. So when you've finished your set, pick this up, fold it up, zip it up, and you've got everything that you need. Um, this is the Beat 6 stick bag. So if you're looking for something that's kind of um, functional in the, in the sense that it's, it's not gonna, um, you know, you're just doing your regular little gigs down the road or whatever, perfectly adequate. And again, nicely padded, will offer a great deal of protection um, to your sticks and beaters and brushes and things like that, which of course is vital these days. Okay, this is another stick bag from Fusion in the Beat series. Um, let me tell you what this is. This is the Beat 12. So I guess the six and the 12, that'll take six pairs of sticks and this will take 12. But again, even with this, you've got backpack facility, just the straps come out of there. It's all nicely padded again, very well made, really good heavy duty stitching. Um, you've got a, a carry handle here. I'm gonna just struggle with it for a minute. But if you just close the Velcro over there, then you know you can easily, quite easily carry that with your hand. Two compartments at the front. Nice bit of padding at the back if you are wearing it as a, as a backpack. And I think that this is sort of breathable material so you don't end up with a really nice sort of, you know, sweaty back. This will definitely um, help, that, help prevent that. Super sturdy um, zips on all of these, of all of these bags. Really, really nice attention to detail. Look at that, that's impressive. As I say, this is the T Beat 12 um, Pro Stick bag. So I, my guess is you'll get 12 pairs of sticks in there. Actually, you'll probably get more than that. Uh, lots of pockets, everything's Velcroed. Um, one that another couple of things here for your Sharpies or your pen, whatever. As I say, beautifully made, rugged, little ha carry handle there as well. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something to uh, keep your sticks warm as the festive season approaches, then there's the Beat 6 and the Beat 12. And uh, we have one more little item, I say little, <laughs> uh, we have one more item to look at from Fusion. And this is what it is, my friends. And here it is, my friends. This is the Beat 24 cymbal bag. And this is a beast and a half, I have to tell you. Again, incredibly well made. The protection out here at the edge, which if you've got this full of cymbals, you're really gonna need, because cymbals will cut through just about everything that's imaginable. But you've got, 
little pockets so you can start off at the front maybe you've got some splashes or a small pair of perhaps auxiliary hi-hats you've got another compartment just behind it again like if you've got regular or bigger hi-hats they could go here or small crashes and you even get look, look look at this look look this is not a winter warmer my friends this is serious protection for your for your symbols really nice very soft really will protect your precious metal and that just sits in there right I, mean, I am just kind of discovering things as i go with these bags i have to tell you uh, and the more i unzip the more i get to see um, that sounded probably a lot wrong than... It shouldn't have really sounded like that, but you get the picture, right? Uh, oh, lo and behold, another one of these free hanging stick bags, which I think is just an utterly brilliant idea. Um, if you've got all of this and you can get it all in one bag, that's just fantastic. So, yep, you know, you get a good eight, maybe ten pairs of sticks in there. No problem. That tucks in there. You've got your name and address thing again when the airline mislay it carry handle at the top here let me just pop this open so 24 inch symbols they're big symbols and again you've got an even bigger version of these lovely lovely soft sort of woolly fabric that will you just put a symbol between each one um, and again the same this same fabric is repeated on the back on the back face of, of, of the of the front compartment and it's even it's even there again on the back compartment as well. So oodles of protection. Um, now, th th there might be a bit of a downside to having a, a great big bag like this because inevitably it's gonna be pretty damn heavy. Um, and if you're my kind of stature, something like a 24 inch symbol bag is gonna be a bit of a struggle. But, and you know this my friends, oh, it does actually go as a backpack if you wanna put it on a backpack, but hey, why truck around with a backpack when you can do this. Ooh, look at that. Simply it clips onto this fabulous trolley and off you go. One handed, all of your symbols, sticks, no problem. Just clips onto this, you just tuck away the backpack straps and uh, and uh, it will clip onto the onto the back of this this rather handsome and very well made little trolley section. I'm just blown away with all of this fusion stuff. I have to say, really, really, they thought of every detail. Um, it's really nicely made. Um, it's going to be you know top price. Um, I would hazard a guess. Oh, let me just spin that round. I actually haven't clipped it properly onto the the trolley, but you can see the picture there. You use these straps. There's another set down the bottom here. As I say, you would have tucked these away in the back so they don't hang around or dangle on the floor. But it's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You know, and when you are rushing through Terminal 5 at Heathrow to catch the plane and you're late, people will get out of your way. And if they don't, my friends, you will scythe them down like Ben-Hur. So there we are. That's the Beat 24 symbol bag from, from Fusion. And... Uh, would make a rather wonderful Christmas present, I would hazard a guess. Oh, I should say festive present. There we are. That, uh, that's the second one of our uh, reviews in our accessories section. Right, and for our final uh, accessories review this issue, we're going to be taking a look at slap clats. Now again, more damping and uh, obviously these are quite useful little tools to have, particularly if, perhaps if you're a studio player or you perhaps you just have a, you know, a sound engineer that just needs you to damp down a tom or something like that. Now, uh, these are new to me, as I said, um, and they come in clear, this is the clear pack, or they come in this um, uh, rather sort of shocking, almost luminous green, kind of ghoulish green, uh, which is quite impressive actually, I have to say. Um, let me just uh, take these out of the packet and I'll show you. You get four gels, you get two small and two large, and they come in this they come in this really nice little container which will help keep them clean, keep them safe. You just unscrew it and there we are. We have our four gels. Now, these, these are the smaller ones. There's two of those. So again, you know, you might find uh, maybe a 10 inch tom or something like that, or an auxiliary snare, or you just want to remove a few little overtones from your snare drum. 
then go with one of these nice little small ones. Or if you need something a little more extreme, then there's this size, um, which will obviously um, help quell even more overtones uh, or ring. So that's um, it's quite handy to have two different sizes because I have found in the past that with some of the gels, um, I, I tend to cut them in half because they, they perhaps they, they offer too much in the way of damping. But here, slap clats have already done it for you. You've got your little ones and you've got your big ones and you can't really go wrong with that. And as I say, if you want to, uh, if you, if you want to really um, stand out from the crowd, then as I say, there's this sort of luminous, love packaging. Um, this luminous green, look at that. How cool is that? And again, you've got your two small and your two large. There's two there. You can see, I don't know if the cameras can pick that out, but that's the two. They're quite thin, but certainly they, there's enough weight to them. They feel quite nice and weighty, so they will offer you a good level of suppression. Um, and best of all, they come in a nice little screw-up um, container, which will keep them clean, keep them safe. Uh, this will fit in your stick bag or wherever. Uh, and you're, uh, you're good to go. No more RSD overtones. So there we go. That's slap clats, peeps. Check them out.